look like hell is an understatement for the creatures on this list. More than having a face that only their mothers could love, these animals look like they've been spawned from the bosom of the devil himself. That's not to say that the animals on this list are inherently evil, because I for one believe that evil doesn't exist in the animal kingdom. They just look like they are. Today we're going to be looking at 10 animals that could have been created by the devil himself. Number one is the stuff of nightmares, so make sure you watch out for that. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko. Maybe it's the littlest eyes, or maybe the tiny little horns, or the way its vertical pupils stare into the depths of your soul, or the bright red inside of their mouths. Whatever the reason, the Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko truly deserves its name. However, their appearance is not used for scaring the living daylights out of people. It's actually for camouflage. The satanic leaf-tailed gecko lives solely in trees thanks to their sticky toes. Not only are the bottoms of their toes made of millions of tiny plates, but they also have curved claws for extra grip. These plates allow movement across smooth vertical surfaces like glass. If that doesn't provide enough holding power, the satanic leaf-tailed gecko can also use its tail to wrap around branches. During the day, these geckos use a variety of tactics to stay safe from predators, like eagles, snakes, and rats. Besides camouflage, they can also flatten their bodies to minimize their shadow, open their jaws wide to show their bright red mouths, or shed their tail and run away. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. The Thorny Devil. The Thorny Devil, also known as the Thorny Dragon, the Moloch, the Thorny Lizard, or the Mountain Devil, is an amazing Australian reptile. It got its name owing to the two large horn scales resembling that of devil horns. Despite its appearance, this intriguing creature is totally harmless. They are found in central and western Australia, and inhabit deserts and scrubland. They are currently an endangered species and are being actively protected by conservationists. The whole upper side of the lizard's body is covered with thorns. Also, the creature features a spiny, false head on the back of its neck. These natural spikes act as a defense mechanism against predators. The thorny devil can measure up to 20 centimeters long, including the tail, and females are bigger than males. In general, the species are brown and tan in color, but like the chameleon, this reptile also has the ability to change color. Though they do look like they feed on the souls of sinners, they mainly eat ants and can gobble up to 3,000 of them in a single meal. Number 8. The Spiny Devilfish The Spiny Devilfish, also called the Demon Rockfish, the Devil Stinger, or the Bearded Ghoul, is a species of stonefish known for its poisonous dorsal fin spines. It has been reported that the poison causes unimaginable pain to anyone who steps on them. This devilish fish is widespread all over the Indo-Pacific region, including Thailand, the Philippines, and Maldives. Generally, spiny devilfish prefer lagoons, seaward reefs buried in sand or slit. They are known to be solitary creatures and prefer the quiet life, and they mostly feed on fish and invertebrates. Aside from its devilish looks, this fish also has other remarkable features. To add to the creep factor, it has front fins that look like fingers. They have modified pectoral fins that they use to walk, and they also come in a variety of colors, from chocolate brown, orange, and deep red. Number 7. The Giant Devil's Flower Mantis The praying mantis truly is a devilish creature. Bloodthirsty and always hungry, they are expert hunters who the females in particular often have their husbands for lunch right after mating. Given these creatures' fearsome reputation, they certainly warrant an inclusion on this list. However, one specific mantis doesn't only act devilish, it also looks the part. The Devil's Flower Mantis is found in Southwest Africa, from Malawi to Kenya and Somalia. They can be found in areas that contain flowers, as these mantises are part of a group of mantises that imitate flowers for diabolical purposes. Devil's Flower Mantises are big mantises, and are one of the largest species of mantis. Females are bigger than males, reaching lengths of 13 centimeters, while males only get to 10 centimeters. In order to mimic flowers, these mantises have to be pretty ornate, and the Devil's Flower Mantis certainly is. When they perform a threat display, Devil's Mantises can have combinations of red, white, blue, purple, and black, which certainly looks quite impressive. Vicious, terrifying, as well as impressively good-looking, this mantis truly lives up to its name. Number 6. The Sand Devil 
This next animal on our list goes by two names which are polar opposites of each other. While one name is probably derived from how the animal shaped, the other, more diabolic name comes from its behavior. The Sand Devil or Atlantic Angel Shark is a sleepy, bottom-dwelling shark. It is called an angel due to its body shape, with fins that spread out like an angel's wings. But if you accidentally step on this bottom dweller, which is easy to do since this shark is perfectly camouflaged against the sandy ocean bottom, it acts very aggressively and will attack. Thus gets the moniker Sand Devil. Adults can reach up to 5 feet long. It has an overall flattened body with eyes situated on top of the head, laterally expanded pectoral fins, two spineless dorsal fins, no anal fin, and five pairs of gill slits. Think of it as a shark in the middle of turning into a stingray. Despite the aggression, attacks on humans are very rare, and these sharks prefer to dine on crustaceans, bivalves, cephalopods, gastropods, and small bony fishes. Number 5. The Anglerfish Some of them are called Black Devils, Deep Sea Black Devils, and Humpback Black Devils, and some have only been recently documented. They are called Anglerfish because of the way they secure their prey. Most anglerfish have a bioluminescent lure situated on their foreheads. In the dark depths of the deep ocean where these creatures live, the lights attract their prey. And when the clueless prey gets close enough, then this devilfish's sharp teeth does the rest. Adding to their diabolic reputation is the unnatural way that they mate. The tiny males will latch onto the much larger females with their teeth, and eventually fuse into her body until there is little more to him than his reproductive organs, which she'll eventually use to fertilize her eggs. A female can have up to six males fused to her body at the same time, giving the demonic phrase, we are many, a whole different meaning. Number 4. The Tasmanian Devil I'm pretty sure that you were expecting this one. It looks like this will never be complete without the poster child of demonic animals, the Tasmanian Devil himself. The Tasmanian Devil is the largest surviving carnivorous marsupial. It was the early European settlers on the island of Australia who were the first to call this fierce-looking animal the devil, mainly because of its black color, its spine-chilling screeches, and reputed bad temper. Resembling a medium-sized dog, the Tasmanian Devil is robustly built and owns a powerful, bone-crunching jaw. Generally, it has black coarse fur marked with white patches running across the chest, shoulders, and rear end. It has a large head, long whiskers, and a hairy tail about 10 inches long. Generally, this intriguing animal eats, well, just about anything. From carry-on to killing small animals like birds, crayfish, frogs, lizards, kangaroos, snakes, and wallabies. Also, their unnatural strength and unmatched bite force easily enables them to tackle prey larger than themselves, only proving that their demonic name is well suited to them. Number 3. The Basking Shark The Basking Shark is definitely one of the most devilish, scary-looking animals in the world, and I agree with that opinion. It is the second largest shark in the world at 32 feet, second to the whale shark. Its gill slits go almost all the way around its head, and it can be seen with its cavernous mouth open, ready to suck the souls of its hapless victims. But of course, I jest. The basking shark is, like the whale shark, an extremely gentle giant. It is a filter feeder, but unlike others who rely on suction, this shark relies on passive flow of water through its pharynx by swimming. Hence the reason why its mouth is almost always open. Found in coastal waters in many areas of the world, the basking shark gets its name because it likes to hover around the surface, evidently soaking up the sun. Fortunately for us, basking sharks aren't considered dangerous. And now it's time for the day's best pick. And today we're going to look at an animal that has such a bad reputation, people often think that they're inherently evil. The question is, are they? No, not really. Find out next, though. Number 2. The Pitbull Pitbulls always get a bad rep, mainly because they are always portrayed as bloodthirsty, fearless dogs with a bite force that can break bones, and their popularity in illegal dogfighting arenas. But in reality, Pitbulls are gentle, well-behaved dogs that can be perfect family pets. With the right love, acre, and training, of course. But then again, just one look at a Pitbull is enough to strike fear in the hearts of many. But that doesn't seem enough for Pitbull breeders. To them, the scarier the Pitbull looks, the better. In fact, certain breeders have produced pit bulls that look like panthers. But, no matter what they look like, they all share the same temperament. They are playful and friendly, very athletic, and have a strong desire to please people. They can be trained to be aggressive towards other dogs, hence their popularity in dogfighting. But they aren't naturally aggressive towards humans. In fact, pit bull owners swear that this breed loves children and is the perfect nanny. So, next time you see a pit bull, don't think of it as the hellhound we've been programmed to think they are. 
they're just another dog. Number one, the giant devil ray. The giant devil ray or devil fish is an endangered type of ray known for its horn-like cephalic fins, giving this fish its name. But unlike what the name suggests, they aren't very dangerous at all. These gentle giants never attack swimmers who swim too close. In fact, divers can swim alongside one if they so wanted. The thing is, the ray is so large and scary looking that only a few gather up the guts to do so. They are also quite large. At maturity, the giant devil ray will measure out an average 6 to 9 feet wide, but can continue to grow to a max of 17 feet, which actually adds to their scariness. These devil rays are most common throughout the Atlantic Ocean, inhabiting offshore deep waters. At times, they can also be found in shallow waters. They normally feed on plankton, crustaceans, and small pelagic fishes. One fascinating fact about this fish is that it has the ability to, well, fly. Not literally fly, of course, but they can leap out of the water and get some serious airtime by using their long, wing-like fins. Why the giant devil rays do this is unknown, which just adds more fascination to this interesting animal. Which demonic animal did you like the most? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.